Have you seen these mobile interface Iron Man kind of effects on Instagram? They look awesome and they're actually pretty simple to do. So let's get started. Hi everyone, my name's Om and welcome. Let's just jump straight into it. Open up After Effects and load your footage of a mobile phone, a pack of cards, anything rectangular really. I'm using this stock footage. From there, we, we need to track the screen. Go to the top, click on Animation and Track in Boris FX Mocker. Click on that, it'll drop this effect onto the video layer. From there, in the Effects Control Panel, click on the Logo Mocker. This will load another pro program that comes in built in After Effects. We're going to use this program to track my mobile screen. Once in Mocker, click on this pen tool and draw around what you'd like tracked. For me, it's this green screen here. After I'm happy with the mask, I'm going to press track and let it go. To make sure the track works, click on show grid and it should show you that it's following the track. Perfect. From there, go to file save to save the track data and then exit out of this. Now that doesn't actually do anything in After Effects. We need to bring through the track data. In the effects control panel, click on matte and click on create After Effects mask. This will now isolate the screen completely. Duplicate this layer and delete the mask on the top layer. From there, right click and pre-comp the layer. Click on move all attributes. We're doing this because we're now going to drag and drop 3D camera track onto the layer and let After Effects do its job to analyze the motion. If we don't pre-comp this, After Effects will get confused between the mask that we've just tracked and the actual footage. Once that's done, you should get these little track markers everywhere. I'm going to select one in the middle and right click and click on create solid and camera. Now this creates a new solid layer. With this, I'm going to scale it up and down, rotate it and use corner pin to make sure it fits the green screen size. As it already has a track data in the layer, it doesn't matter what, what size or rotation or scale I do as it'll always keep the track correct. Perfect. Once you have that, pre-comp this layer as well. Click on leave all attributes here. As I don't need the original layer that we used to track in Mocha, I'm just going to turn it off. You can delete it if you'd like. Now we can start placing an image within the phone. Open the solid that we created, and drag and drop the image you want to appear on screen into that comp. Now it might be a little skewed or stretched, but don't worry because when you actually look at the right comp size, it fits it into place. So don't worry about that too much. Drag and drop it in and fill the whole screen. Now for the next bit is I wanted to build some depth and 3D dimension into this. I wanted these white lines to come on before the screen comes on. Now to do this, I duplicated the layer within the project rather than the comp. In that, I deleted the image and brought in a new shape and chose the stroke and the fill colors that I want. To ensure that I keep the track data from the original solid, duplicated the layer within the comp. I held Alt and drag and dropped it over the image to keep the track data but change the image. I did that. I did that three more times. All I need to do to bring in some depth is open the timeline at the beginning, click on position and scale and key set a start a keyframe. Go into roughly around one second and place another keyframe in. On that keyframe, reduce the scale and position it to where you'd like. Then at two seconds, bring it back up to the original size. Now this may need a bit of adjusting. I didn't like how long it was, so I moved it and I repeated this step. I did this three more times. I added a glow threshold of 60% and a glow radius of 40 to all the lines. To bring in the screen after the animation, I created a mask and keyframed it coming in just as the animation ended. And I added a feather of 10. Finally, change the blend mode to screen. The last thing we need to do is bring in the user interface on the outside of the phone. I'm using some stock footage that you can find uh, as I didn't want this tutorial to be too long. But if you want me to go through it, a like and a comment down below. Once I was happy with the elements of the user interface that I had, I used the same method. So I duplicated the layer with all the track information, held Alt and drag and dropped it onto that layer. Then I just positioned it into place for all three items and change the blend mode to screen. And at the end of this, this is what you have. 
It may sound complicated, but once you have the track information down, it's just a matter of duplicating and alt clicking and dropping. That's all it is. I hope you enjoyed this week's video, guys. Please hit the like and subscribe button to let me know I'm doing something that you all enjoy. And as always, stay inspired.